This is Mission Control Houston. The Expedition 32 crew on board the International Space Station got some off-duty time on Monday after a very busy weekend. They uh, started with the unloading of one cargo ship, the redocking of a second while preparing for its departure, and the arrival of a third cargo ship that's coming up this week. Today, Commander Gennady Padalka and Flight Engineers Sergei Revin and Yuri Malenchenko had a late wake-up call and most of the day off-duty. Uh, on Saturday night, Padalka and Malenchenko were monitoring the redocking of a Progress Ship 47P in a test of an enhanced automated rendezvous system. The first redocking of that vehicle last week was aborted when that system failed a self-test, but it worked just fine on Saturday after the Russian specialist raised the temperature inside that cargo ship. Uh, Commander Padalka removed the Coors NA hardware on Sunday for ultimate return to the ground so that the hardware can be studied and uh, try to help determine the cause of the uh, original abort. But the 47P has now been closed up for undocking, and the uh, final undocking of that vehicle from the International Space Station is scheduled to occur at 4.19 p.m. Central Time on Monday. The NASA TV coverage will begin at 4 p.m. Flight engineers Joe Acaba and Sonny Williams spent their afternoon both unloading and loading a Japanese cargo ship. The hatch to the HTV-3 was opened on Saturday morning following its arrival at the station on Friday, and the crew got very far ahead of the schedule with unloading the contents of Conatory 3. Uh, today, the crew continued with unloading and also starting to pack up some of the trash that will be disposed of in the HTV when it undocks from the International Space Station in September. Flight engineer Aki Hoshide spent a good portion of his afternoon installing the NanoStep cartridge in the Solution Crystallization Observation Facility. That's going to be used for the NanoStep experiment, which was delivered on the HTV. NanoStep is a JAXA biotechnology d investigation that's aimed at refining our understanding of the mechanisms that drive the growth of crystals in microgravity. On Tuesday, the crew is designed to spend more time on HTB cargo operations as well as station science operations, including body mass measurements and ultrasound examinations and the feeding of spiders that are part of the YouTube Space Lab experiment that was delivered on HTV. That's a suite of two experiments developed by high school students.